Today I'm going to show you how to carry your yarn when you're doing a project where you change colors often and you don't want to um, cut off a, one color before you start another and weave in all your ends. Uh, this can be a great way to um, avoid all those ends and make your project a little easier. So today I'm working on a checkered pattern and so I've got my main collar done here already and I'm going to do one more um, double crochet in this color and switch to another color and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to complete my final double crochet in this color and before I finish this last stitch on the last yarn over and pull through I'm going to switch colors, dropping that first color, picking up my new color. I'm going to tug on my ends a little bit to keep it all tight. And then I'm going to start crocheting with my new color. And as I do that, what I mean by carrying the yarn is that my first color, I'm going to just kind of hold it along the top of my chain. And I'm going to crochet around it just like I would through the chain. So I'm going to yarn over and do my double crochet. I'm going to go into the chain, but also around that yarn and complete my double crochet as usual. I'm going to give things just a little tug gently to make sure they're tight. And I'm going to do that again. I have four double crochets coming in this color. So I'm going to do all those around that yarn that I'm carrying. So it's two, three, and the last one is where I'm going to change colors again. So I'm going to go around that yarn I'm color carrying. Now before I finish this off and switch yarns, I'm going to give this one more gentle tug my yarn that I'm carrying because that's going to keep it really straight where it is in between here so that it's not going to show through my stitches. So as I finish off this double crochet, I'm going to drop the second color and go back to my other color yarn over and pull through. Again, I'm going to give everything a little gentle tug, make sure it's tight. And as I start crocheting in the next color, I'm going to do the same thing with this color. I'm just going to carry it across my previous or my chain or previous row if you've already got a row going. Just treat it like it's your previous row for your chain. Give it a little gentle tug. Now if you're keeping things tight and giving those little gentle tugs and you're still seeing your color through, uh, it may be that you're using too big of a hook, maybe you need a smaller hook for your project. Um, but generally if you've got the right size hook, if you're given keeping things just gently tight enough, it should magically hide your carried yarn. I'm going to show this to you one more time. So before I finish off this color, give it all a gentle tug. Drop my other color. Pick this one up. Finish off that double crochet. Give everything a little gentle tug. And start crocheting with my next color. Now you might find that doing this, um, your two colors here are kind of going to wrap around each other a little bit. Um, so you might need to pause every once in a while and kind of unwind them. It's just kind of a side effect of picking up and dropping and picking up and dropping. Um, but totally worth it, I think to avoid all those ends and weaving them in. Okay. 
So there you have it, and I hope that helps you out. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more crochet.